Hi friends, in this video, I will walk you through e-commerce website that we are developing in our Java real-time project course. This is the home page of our e-commerce website. You can see here the products are displaying. You can filter the products based on the category. If I click on laptops, laptops will be displayed. Similarly, mobiles, only mobiles are displaying. Shirts, currently we have only one record for the shirts category. Suppose if there are no products in the category, we are displaying this message. And here you can search for the products also. Here if I type laptop, all the laptops which are available display. Similarly, you can search for all the mobiles that we are having. Suppose if we don't have any data for the given search criteria, we are going to get the message like this. Right. And you can click on search, the records will be displayed here. And if you observe, currently there are no items available in the cart. Cart status is zero. And whatever the products that you want to purchase, you can select that product and you can add the product to the cart. Click on add to cart. When I click on add to cart, the product is added to the cart and cart status got updated. I'm adding one more product to the cart. You can see there are two items in the cart and the total cost is 68. If you want, you can go to another category and you can click on add to cart. One more item is added to the cart. After adding the items to the cart, you can check the cart status here. Click on this icon. Here, what all the products you added to the cart, those products are displaying, you can review them. Here you have your option to increase the quantity of that item, option to decrease the quantity. Okay, you can increase and you can decrease. For example, if you don't want this item to purchase, then you can click on remove. That item will be removed from the cart. When you remove particular item from the cart, the cart status is also getting updated. Once you have decided to purchase this product, then you can click on proceed to checkout. When you click on proceed to checkout option, it is asking to enter some customer information. So I'm giving my details, name, email ID, and some dummy mobile number, and house number, and the details you can provide. So once you fill this form, and you can review your order, and you can click on purchase option. When you click on purchase option, order will be created in the backend, and razor pay payment integration is also available. So here I have configured test mode of the razor pay you can click on this net banking option and select the bank that you want and click on pay now it is opening payment gateway page here we have option to decide successful transaction or failure transaction as we configured test keys of the razor pay we are getting this screen if we configure live keys of the razor pay then the real amount deduction will happen click on success in the back end, the order status will be updated and we will be redirected to order confirmation page. This is our order confirmation page, right? So if you want to track your order, if you want to see the order information, you can log in into our application. You can enter your details. Once you click on the login button, it will redirect you to orders page where you can track all the orders you have placed and you can view the orders also. So this is order space that we are getting. Here you can see all the orders we have placed. If you click on view order details, the order information will be available. So this is what the project that we are going to develop. And this project is developed by using Spring Boot Microservices and Angular. Backend we developed by using Spring Boot Microservices. Frontend we developed by using Angular. So if you want to learn how to develop this e-commerce website by using Java Spring Boot Microservices with Angular, please register with the link available in description of this video. Thank you. Please follow this page to get more updates.